Hey guys, it's Jamie from Best Nerd Life. So a few weeks ago, I was scrolling down the Nintendo Life website, just looking for some news, um, if there's any games coming out, all that kind of stuff. And I came across this article that basically said that this 3DS game had shot up to the number two place sales-wise in the UK, um, like beating SpongeBob remastered game that had come out that week, which was, surprising and shocking because um, you know the 3ds is quite old now <laughs> interestingly the reason why this has happened is because the uk retailer argos has had like a massive massive clearance sale of 3ds games and i'm talking games for like 199 299 399 of games that only really came out about five years ago um so Obviously I was pretty excited because I have not played a lot of 3DS games and there are definitely games that I've wanted to play, um, but couldn't really justify paying the prices that they were at. Um, so yeah, I was pretty excited, but then I completely forgot about it because <laughs> life and being busy and all that kind of stuff. And now fast forward to this morning, I actually saw a video by the Gebs 24 who is a UK um, retro gaming YouTuber. Um, she's much more popular than I am, um, <laughs> and she's she seems pretty cool to be honest. Um, she apparently goes to the Doncaster Gaming Market, which I go to a lot, but I've never actually seen her. So hopefully I'll say hi at some point, um, potentially, because um, she is really cool. Um, she released a video this morning, I believe, that just talked about a whole range of games that she recently collected and the first batch of games she talked about was all these 3DS games that she'd gotten from Argos something that I completely forgot about so obviously I went straight onto Argos the website Argos and basically just bought a bunch of games <laughs> for like super cheap I was really annoyed actually because because I'd forgot this thing was happening a lot of the games that I would have wanted had sold out um, I wanted to get WarioWare because my girlfriend wanted it, um, Story of Seasons as well, um, and a few others um, I would have wanted. But unfortunately a lot of them had already sold out. Luckily I managed to get four games um, for super duper cheap and I'm really happy that I got these. I actually got them for just over £10, I think it was like £10.96 or something like that, but because I get a slight discount because of where I work. I got that for slightly less, which is great all around. So anyway, the first game that I got was Metroid Prime Federation Force. Now this was $3.99, which was the most expensive game that I bought today. Um, I've heard it's quite a controversial game because it's got the Metroid name attached to it and people don't think it's like a true Metroid game or something. I, I don't know, I've, I've never really played Metroid. I don't have a lot of feelings or thoughts about Metroid. I don't have that nostalgia or whatever attachment to the game, to the, to the franchise. So uh, I thought I'd try it and see if I like it. If not, I can get rid of it. The second game that I got was Chibi Robot Ziplash. Now this was £2.49. Um, I, 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 I've never played a Chibi Robot game before. Um, I have no connection to it or anything, so I'm excited to play it. I, I think he's really cute, um, so I'm going to try it and see if I like it, but if not, I can just get rid of it, whatever. Next up is Codename, S-T-E-A-M, Codename Steam. Um, strike Team Eliminating the Alien Menace. I, I've never heard of it, I've, <laughs> whatever. Um, apparently you can reinforce your team with Fire Emblem Amiibos. Okay, um, that's pretty cool. But it just looks really interesting, it's kind of like steampunky kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm totally into it. Um, just for the aesthetic alone. If I don't like the gameplay then whatever, it's fine. Now last but not least is the cheapest game that I got. And that is Yokai Watch. Uh, <laughs> this was $1.99. I'd been looking for another Pokemon RPG monster catching esque game.
game and this seems pretty cool. Like the reason why I got this is because I really enjoyed the turn-based monster catching RPG Monster Hunter stories, which is like a spin-off of the main Monster Hunter franchise. And I just thought, I'll just try this, like maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't. One ninety nine. So yeah, I've played each of these games for a little bit, uh, and I kind of want to give some of my first impressions of each of them. Um, so first off is Chibi Robo Ziplash, and I've got to say I really, really adore this game. I adore Chibi, he is really cute. He's also got a bit of an attitude to him, which I really like. Uh, there's some humour there as well, which... Um, I don't know, just it's really appealing. Uh, I love the whole ziplash and whiplash mechanic where you kind of like throw your plug thing towards certain parts of the level and you can zip around and stuff and hit enemies. It is, it's really cool. I like the whole 2D aspect platforming and stuff. So yeah, do not regret buying this at all, especially for the price. Okay, Metroid Prime Federation Force. <laughs> I don't like this game. Um, it, it's got nothing to do with the fact that it's Metroid Prime and you're not playing as Samasara or whatever her name is. Um, I, I just don't like the controls in it. Um, the whole pressing R, the R button to, to then look around with your 2D, 3DS is just. I, I, I just. I, I don't really like motion controls in many, many games. I think it's just a big gimmick. Um, and this game is just really, really bad for it. Um, I just want to look up and down with the uh, joystick, whatever it is. Um, I, I just don't like it at all. Um, which is a shame, but it's funny as well because it's like the most expensive one as well. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not too fussed about this at all, um, which is a shame, but you know. Okay, next up we have Codename Steam. I really like this game. I really, really do. I think it's my most favourite one out of the lot. Um, I just really, as I said before, I really dig steampunk, the whole aesthetic. And this has it in, like, spades. It's like a steampunky cell shaded um turn based like strategy game it's it's pretty cool the initial cutscene just completely hooked me straight away it was this really awesome kind of comic book inspired um with like comic book panels and and um visible text and speech bubbles and sound effects and all that kind of stuff I, it just really hooked me straight away um so yeah, I'm really happy about this game and the fact that I only got it for £2.49. And it, as well, like, I would never have got this if it wasn't so cheap. Like, I just, I'd never heard of it before. Um, I'd never even seen it before, before buying it. So yeah, you've just got to take chances on stuff. And this really, really paid off because I really like this game. And last but not least, um, the OK Watch. Um, I don't like this game. Um, like I think it's like visually appealing and it's well made and all that kind of stuff. And it's it's made by Level Five, and I, I I've loved Level Five since Dark Cloud Two and, and the original Dark Cloud, or Dark Chronicle, whatever the second one is called. I I just I just don't like this game. So let's rank these from least enjoyable to most enjoyable. Least enjoyable is definitely Metroid Prime, <laughs> Federation Force, don't like that at all. Then it is Yokai okay Watch, um, yeah. And then Chibi Robot, um, it's, it's a great game. And then, obviously, last but not least, my most favourite and most enjoyable game out of this lot is Codename Steam. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting to enjoy it so much, um, but yeah, it just kind of hooked me from the start. So yeah, that was me talking about my four 3DS games that I got from the ridiculously cheap Argos sale. <laughs> I'm going to check back in a few weeks to see if they've dropped the prices of some more games. Um, hopefully they will, but if not, I've got, you know, four games from them 
Um, also, if I don't like the games that I've got, I can just get rid of them. Um, or not, I don't know yet. Uh, I kind of don't want to collect too many things, because I could just continue forever and ever collecting things. But I don't know. I'll see how I feel about them. And yeah, anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, then by all means like, comment, subscribe, all that social media goodness, and, you know, just continue to live that best nerd life, guys.